Hey guys, Dustin here, CEO of 630, and today I'm gonna show you how to ride an electric bike uphill. Stick around. Okay, so today I'm gonna show you how to ride an electric bike uphill, but before I do, hit subscribe, stay in touch with us here at 630, be in the know about all the new content we're putting out, and also weekly, monthly giveaways for bikes, e-bikes, and accessories. It's a lot of fun, hit subscribe. Okay, so how to ride an electric bike uphill. I have my Body Ease, 630 Body Ease men's 500 watt electric bike. I'm gonna take it over to a hill and show you how to ride uphill. Now, riding an electric bike uphill, there's different ways of doing it. There's different strategies. So I'm gonna show you a couple different strategies, explain what I'm doing while I'm riding up the hill and show you a couple different ways to get up the hill. So follow along, here we go. Okay, so we're at the hill here that I'm about to tackle. You get a shot of that. It's pretty intense. Um, we got a little bike lane here. We actually got some traffic, so we're gonna stay off to the side. I got my helmet on. So the way I look at it, there's actually five or six different ways to how you can ride an electric bike uphill. I'm gonna take you through three or four of them and different strategies and I'm gonna show you the whole way. Now, on an electric bike, like our electric bikes, you can actually be in zero mode. So if you can see the screen there, I'm not sure if you can. I have it in pedal assist zero, so the motor's off. So I'm gonna tackle this hill right now just like a normal bike, even though it is an electric bike. Um, quite honestly, I'm in decent shape, but I'm not even sure I can make it the whole way without the electric bike. So. Let's give it a go and see what happens. Follow along. So I got the bike in first gear. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a fun one. So I got it in first gear because that's gonna be your easiest to pedal. And you can see it's definitely a struggle. Now, not super hard, not super easy, although I will tell you, I'm gonna stand up. Whew. <laughs> my legs are burning no doubt about it but you know if you want to get a workout this is the best option and the beauty of electric bikes is you have this option to go no power Whew. it's getting steeper Nate our camera guy has an e-bike and he's using the motor. Okay, so. All right, almost there. Oops, just accidentally shifted. Okay. Okay, stop here. <laughs> so I'm winded, but point being, you wanna get that exercise on the hill, you can. So let's go back down and I'll show you what it looks like doing it with pedal assist. Okay, caught my breath. Now I'm back down at the bottom of the hill and we're gonna put this in pedal assist five and show you how to get up the hill using pedal assist. Let's go. So I'm gonna use the throttle just to get moving. Now, I'm still in first gear and you can see what a difference. So this option is just do full pedal assist. I mean, I could do this one footed and still keep moving. So this is like night and day. Oh, feels great. So, you know, if you have those big hills on rides that were intimidating before, you could just use the pedal assist to get you up the hill. And then once you get up there, turn it off completely. So that's an option. So. Just keep going a little more. 
And now you can see I'm starting to pick up the pace. I got to flat ground. And I mean, that was like a breeze. So that's pedal assist. We did no motor pedal assist. Let's go back down and I'm gonna show you using pedal assist and throttle to get up hills. And I'll explain to you why I don't recommend full throttle up hills. Let's go. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to get up a hill on an electric bike in the third way. And this is gonna be a combination of using the pedal assist and then also doing full throttle. I don't recommend going up hills using full throttle only, especially a hill this magnitude, because you're gonna really, really drain your battery. If you absolutely have to do full throttle up the hill, go for it. But because you're just working the motor that much harder and using that much more of the battery, you can actually... Sorry about that. You can actually suck a lot of the battery out um, on major, major hills. And that's true across all e-bikes. That's true on electric cars as well. Uh, I would drive a road called the 73 with my Chevy Bolt. And anytime I'd get to a huge hill, it might say that I have 170 miles left in the range. Let's say that the uphill is about five miles. I may kill 10 to 15 miles of the battery life, even though it's telling me um, it was only five mile distance. So how hard is that battery, how hard is that motor working and battery working will depend on your, um, how much life you have left. So if the hill is at the end of your ride and you know, you don't care about draining the battery, go for it, full throttle. Um, but if you still got more riding to do and you want to preserve that battery a little longer, don't full throttle up major, major hills. I would consider this a pretty major hill. Um, you know, so let me show you. I'm going to leave it in pedal assist five because that's the kind of power output we're going to need for my weight 220 in this type of hill. And I'm just going to start by using the throttle. So let's show you, get going a little bit. And so you can see we're moving at a slower pace than if I were to be pedaling too, because when you're pedaling, you're getting the output of your feet and the motor. Now, again, I'm 220 pounds. This is a very steep hill. I'm on thrill full throttle. But if you kick in just a little bit of pedaling, then you can get going a little bit faster. And I can just do full throttle again if I want a little break. So I'm going six miles an hour, seven, and I'm full throttle, no pedaling. And then I'll just take it off and pedal assist. Keep in mind I'm 220, so, you know, somebody who's 180 pounds, you're gonna be able to go a lot faster up the hill with the full throttle than me. <clears throat> and now that I hit the straightaway, I'll just put it down into full throttle. And as I'm getting into my straightaway, my bike's picking up speed. I'm at eight. Approaching nine, and here we go. Now we're off and running, and I'm full throttle. And I'm going 12, 11, so I'll go ahead and stop right here. So, that's my three suggestions on how to ride an electric bike uphill, um, depending on what mood you're in, how much exertion you want to do, and how big that hill is. It's going to depend on which technique is going to work best for you. But if you have any other questions, comments, please comment below. We always respond to them. We're happy to answer. Or email us, the team at 630.com, or call us, 310-982-2877. And if you're looking for an electric bike, take the body fit quiz on our website. Our proprietary algorithm will fit you to the perfect electric bike for your body. All you have to do is answer a few questions about your body and your life. In addition, we have a 90 day test ride your e-bike policy. Within 90 days, if you don't love your e-bike, send it back, no questions asked, no money out of your pocket. And on our standard bikes, that same policy is 365 days. And lastly, well not lastly, actually check out our website, 630.com. If you don't want to take the body fit, browse our whole selection. And lastly, be a part of our community. You can download our app or join our Facebook peddlers group on the app. You can see how other riders are using their bikes, how far they're going. If you're in the market for an electric bike, you can see which e-bikes are being ridden and for how far. 
or join our peddlers group. It's a great resource either before you buy or after you can be a part of the community, post photos, comment on other people's photos, and also get suggestions on accessories and where to ride. It's a lot of fun. So thanks for sticking around and don't forget, it's your journey, your experience, enjoy the ride.